All right, guys, I just want to make this video right now to help you guys uh, keep in mind some of the problems you're going to have when purchasing uh, some older models um, like I have. Um, I purchased this model not too long ago. It's a 1992 kit. Um, I had purchased this other F-16 model kit that I am building right now, and it is an older model kit as well. And, you know, after so many years the decals actually start fading and you can't really see it in here you might be able to but yeah you can see right there the decals are actually yellowing out and this thing is it's no good anymore i mean because once you paint your model kit um it's gonna it's not gonna look right so luckily for me when i uh, went online since this is a very common aircraft a 148 scale I was able to go on eBay and I actually purchased some newer updated um, decals that are, you know, are, are clean and clear. Uh, they're going to go on and they're going to go into the um, recess panel lines better. You know, you're going to, you're just going to stick better, you know. So I also got the microsole. But um, the problem that I had with some of these rare aircraft, like these AH-1, which is a 135th scale, and it was by MRC. Let me grab the box so you know, because I've seen some other people on a watch list on eBay. And the price was good. I only paid $19. And this is the box, okay? And the decals were actually the same. They were, they're, they're older. They're not yellowing, but I noticed that when I put them in water or in the decal solution, whatever, whatever it is, they have this white film substance over the decals and i was like oh no it's not going to work so i went online on ebay looking for a 135th scale and i couldn't find any anywhere um there is none so i mean there are other there are other um kits that are the same as this one and um but there's no decals i went on google and tried to find some of the other decals for it but they're for the uh uh one huey and none for the ah1 so i was like oh shoot so what i did was what i had to do i had to grab uh some um because some of them were kind of just too filmy to use and actually it was just on the couple of the numbers here i actually also spray painted a little bit too much here on the black on the camouflage luckily for me i saved the decals that i don't use and luckily for me, I know this is supposed to be a 441 number here, but, uh, you know, I'm building it for my brother, so it's not going in any type of competition or anything like that or any type of, you know, hobby show or anything like that. So, um, so I mean, he's not going to know, right? <laughs> so I just put a 14, and that worked out fine, so that's no problem. I'm not having any of the other issues with the decals, just that it has a white film. So that's something to keep in mind when you're buying older model kits. The prices may be cheap, but the decals may be harder to find. And if you get like, like I did, this F-16 was $16. Okay, I bought it at a hobby store and I didn't take it into consideration. And, you know, I didn't think about it because this is the first time buying an older kit. Most of my kits were newer one. And then this was the second one that I have bought after this one. And I didn't realize that the, the decals actually fade after a while. And like this one, they get like a milky substance. It's white. It looks, you know, just, I, you can clean them a little bit, you know, in the water. You can rub it off, but you just have to be careful. Luckily for me, I didn't rip any of the decals yet. But um, as you can see, there's, let me see, it didn't leave any on there. Okay, there's that. But in the water, let me show you. It's that decal is no good. Let me pop this lid, see if you can see it. Um, I don't know if you can see it. You can see it there. Look, there's a white particles floating around in there, and that came off. Let's see one there. There's still more in there. Yeah, it came off the decal, sir. Okay. So, but this I paid on eBay for this um, decal. Um, these decals here um, were like 10 bucks, something like that. So it wasn't too much, but I mean, if I paid a little bit more, I could have just got it all new anyway. So, but 
Um, my, we're in Arizona here. So um, I'm actually doing this one for my nephew, this F-16. And I actually got some Arizona decals here. So I showed it to him and he was kind of thrilled to see the AZ on it. So, but yeah, just keep that in, in mind when ordering older kits. All right, guys, just wanted to share that with you. Um, but here is the, Apat or the uh, Super Cobra. I'm not finished with it. I still got quite a bit of work to do, some touch-ups, got some more painting to do. Um, more decals. I only did the left side or the right side of the aircraft. Or you want to look at it, and I have not done the other side. So, but all right, there it is.